August 17th, 2015. This is uh, Ron Bresla, right? Right. And this is your property? Yes. Right. How yes. long have you lived here? We lived here approximately six six years. Okay. Yeah, over the six years. Of, we've had a problem with the Phragmites growing behind our house, and we've tried to eliminate them ourselves. And uh, we've talked, gone up to the, the Marsh House, and we've talked to the people up there, and we've actually become members up there. And we're interested in eliminating these Phragmites because they're not a native plant. Okay. So, what did you do? This when did you start harvesting, or when did you start uh, managing the Phragmites? Well, about three years ago. But I tried to do it myself, and, and I wasn't doing too good. But after the helicopters sprayed, uh, we could see what the helicopters have done. But close to the shore, they couldn't get in close to the shore, so I was cutting them down by hand myself. Okay. And what were and of you? Of course, Bob Zeitz came in with this. Argo, and we were knocking them down. What were you using to cut it with? I was cutting it with a sickle. I got the sickle down at the fence pile. Okay, let's go take a look. Okay. Here. Wait, wait. Okay. This right here used to be in water. We couldn't walk out here without any boots on. Over the winter, this was all underwater with all the snow and stuff. And this right here is what I have cut. But right now I'm actually in tennis shoes, and I could probably walk probably another 50 feet out, which used to be underwater. And this is what I usually cut them with. But as you get into the thicker stuff, it's harder to cut them down, which is out in there. Uh, this whole area you cut with the sickle? Yeah. All the stuff that's starting to come up is what I have cut. Where if you get it in, roll it over with the cargo, it seems like it keeps it down. It just breaks it down. Oh. It doesn't seem to come up. So you're, you're thinking, from your experience, when you press it down with the argo, it's better than cutting with the sickle? I believe so. I believe so. It will, won't come up, but the thing is it comes up the next year where if you go over it enough times, it breaks them off. It's just like running back and forth with a lawnmower over your grass. If you, or even if you go over the top of something, you crush it down, it doesn't grow as fast. Okay, so, okay, so maybe what the mass is, is, is yeah. keeping the stuff from growing, the mass yeah. is laying on top? Of it. But the problem is, is like I say, that every year, it, come in, the last couple of years, Bob's come in here with Argo and knocked it down, but it comes back up. Mm -hmm. I talk about now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ron, Ron just got a net because we saw, as we were talking, we saw a leopard frog jumping around in here. We're trying to, and then, then we uh, started digging underneath to try to find him. Ron, you're saying that this frag underneath, the dark frag, is from last year? Yes, that's, that's what, what's starting to decay out here. They'll so, never grow. Yeah, so underneath it started to decay and oh yes, the, yes. The stuff laying on top keeps it from growing. It looks like it looks like not much is coming up except Phragmites coming up through the the pressed and the cut. Yeah. Well, yeah. there's a lot of. It's just like over here. I've never had cattails since I've lived here. We got the cattails here. And there was some cattails over on the other side here, but I think we're operating. Oh, okay. These are actually new this year. These cattails here have never been here before. Okay. These bushes have never been here before. This there, okay, that's a that's a that's a sedge. That's a umbrella sedge. So a, new plants are coming in here. That's the thing. The new plants are coming in, and we're eliminating the pragmites. That's the thing. That's good news. And so, so how far out? How far out have you have you gone here? I'll just well, I'll show you how far I can go out. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, Ron, this this area, um, this area right over here, right in the center, seems like 
the Phragmites is degrading more. It seems like there are these native plants coming out. It looks like these Bidens type of plants. What, what happened in this area that's different than the other areas right here? This, I believe, is where the helicopter came in and killed the stuff off. It did never turn green in. There was some last year, but there wasn't, a, there's more, it's died out more this year than it was the previous, last year. When did the helicopter spray here? Two years ago. Two, okay. It didn't come in last year because they didn't have the funding, but two years ago they, they had sprayed. The year before that they had sprayed, which would be three years ago they had sprayed. And, and at what point did you start doing the cutting here? Uh, after they sprayed? Well, I didn't cut here. Oh, I this haven't was, cut here. This was pressed. This, this was sprayed. It's and spots it is went in Argo. I don't know if you went in the Argo or not, but Bob and I have gone in the Argo site. And there are spots that you'll see the green high Phragmites, and then you'll see nothing at all, just like here. It's just like the path from the helicopter hit and missed different spots. So, but where they sprayed, this this was pressed though, right? After it was sprayed, after, a couple years after it was sprayed? Well, it was pressed with the Argo and in spots like you see out there where it's actually standing and leaning over. Yeah. That's from the wind and the snow. Okay. We never drove over that. That's from the snow. Okay, so that's bent from the snow and this, this down underneath us where, it's, where it is kind of degrading, that is pressed after uh, two years after spraying. Oh, it's a good possibility, yeah. Well, okay. the snow laid on it and the water laid on it, so it's died off. And what it is is the chemicals are from spraying it has killed it off. Okay. And then new stuff is uh, native stuff, let's put it that way, it might be native stuff that is actually coming up and not Phragmites. Yeah, that is. The, these are natives, these, yeah. these little bushy Biden plants right here. Okay. So we're getting... It's just like when Bob and I were out riding around, we saw more cattails than I've seen in here in probably 30 years. Because they killed off the Phragmites and yeah, the cattails. Because they killed off down. the Phragmites and the cattails could come back. Okay, got it. And I, I think that's great that, they, <laughs> that we're doing something that's improved this area because these Phragmites are not good for the air. Okay, thanks, Ron. Yep. Take care. Bob, how long have you been doing work in Menor Marsh? What's that? How long have you been doing work in Menor Marsh? Oh man, it seems like forever. <laughs> You're on the board. Can't you, can't you see the progress? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's where the Phragmites has been pressed. Yeah. What kind of machine is this? Argo. Argo, any type of, any special type? Uh, it's an eight wheel, 10 property, I think three lots here. And that's the last house at Corduroy over there. And Keith sprayed, or somebody from the museum sprayed from the shoreline out. There's a barrier, and I can 
break through it, it'll be right over here. So this was sprayed and pressed? Yeah. This, when, when was it, uh, when was it pressed and sprayed and pressed? It was sprayed three years ago in the coming September, and we pressed it last year. We had several trails through here. How far out was it sprayed? Because of that stand? Oh, only about 20 feet from what would have been the shoreline under the trees there. I'll show you. That was the previous people that that house changed hands last year. Okay, so this is where it was sprayed by hand, that yeah. helicopter. Yeah, from, sure. from, the, from the shore there. It probably stepped in the car to get the spray to spray. Did the museum do this? The museum sprayed? Yeah. The museum sprayed, I'm okay. Sure, I'm pretty sure. How long ago? Well, I would say three years ago at least. Maybe four, when maybe did, five. They might have a better knowledge than me. And when did you press it? Pardon? When did you press it? We, we came in here last year, after July last year. Failed. When did you press this? What's that? When did you press this? Last year, probably in August. And this was sprayed. This was sprayed. Well, but yeah, there, but there was, you know, there was lines that were missed, so it was sprayed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So how old is this pressed, this pressed area? It was pressed last year after July. Okay, so it was sprayed before though? Yeah. When, three, when it was sprayed three years ago? Three years ago, uh, next month. Okay. So it pressed last, last July, so this, this had a growing season, but there doesn't seem to be much coming up here. No. Probably because no. like, it's too well, thick. Well, it was, it was standing ground until, you know, July and when we started knocking it down. And it wasn't all knocked down at once, it was too good. Okay. It was a little bit of this wind down there, it's snow. Okay, there's, there's a little bit of Bidens out there, that's all, all the rest, I can't. The rest is fragmites. Like, okay, so, so Bob, uh, when, uh, what are your, what are your, Plans for the uh, for the marsh for for this year and next year. Your final plans for uh, pressing and. Oh. Uh, well, I'm going to do some, but not much. I don't. I don't. There's too much here. I don't feel like wearing the machine out on it. That's oh. that's the one issue. Yeah. And uh, you know, I use it where we can. I wish I could have got over to Grace Court and across there, but we tried a couple times and it was just too too massive, too heavy. If you get one trail over there. You know, we'd be able to keep it open and keep going there. That could have helped you when you planted the trees. But uh, mm -hmm. that was the other issue, but, uh, stuff like that. And then maybe get on the east side of the quarter. Okay. So open uh, some of that up again. Sounds good. And, yeah. and um, you said this machine weighs a thousand pounds? Yeah. 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 Plus, plus the passengers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So sounds good. And it needs. It needs. We had. We had three heavy rocks in the back. Uh, big uh, cement. Uh, footer stones and uh, to, for added weight and that made a difference mm -hmm. last year.
Okay. And when I got stuck, when I got broke through the ice and got stuck in January, we took them out and left them out there. They're still out there. <laughs> <laughs> have to go get them someday. <laughs> okay, Bob. Well, thank, thanks for sharing. All right. Gotcha.